On September 29th, uh, Sunday at 10.22 a.m., uh, officers responded to uh, Dorchester Road in Foxwood for a report of uh, shots fired. Once on scene, they located one victim of Deshaun Bowen in the parking lot of 7757 Dorchester Road uh, with injuries consistent with a gunshot wound. Uh, they also located a 14-year-old juvenile across the street in a parking lot at 7791 Dorchester Road, also with uh, injuries consistent with a gunshot wound. Investigation uh, followed, and from that, um, we found that the juvenile was in the store at 7757 Dorchester Road talking to an employee when uh, Mr. Bowen came into the store. Mr. Bowen uh, shopped for a minute. He came up to the cash register. Um, he had a small black tote bag. He pulled a large amount of money out of the bag, uh, which definitely caught the juvenile's attention. He paid for a few items, and then Mr. Bowen went in and into the uh, restroom. Um, during that time, approximately 10 minutes, uh, the 14-year-old juvenile left the store went around back of the store where he stayed for a few minutes. Then he came back into the store, um, at which time Mr. Bowen came out of the restroom and was going to proceed home. He um, went across the parking lot of the Valero, um, headed back towards his house. Um, shortly after that, the 14-year-old juvenile followed him. When they got to the parking lot, uh, the, the car lot there, uh, the 14-year-old brandished a firearm uh, in a robbery attempt. Uh, Mr. Bowens was shot. Uh, from there, a struggle happened. They both ended up on the ground where the 14-year-old was shot once. Uh, Mr. Bowen was able to get up um, and run across the street where he collapsed in the, in the parking lot of 75 or 7757 uh, Dorchester Road. This was a culmination of a lot of things. Uh, we had videos, we had eyewitnesses. Um, it's not just one video. Everybody keeps asking for a video, but it's probably 27 to 30 videos that we had to piece together. Um, it was uh, numerous witness statements from across the street, uh, from at the gas station, from on Foxwood, from a laundromat, um, and then finally forensics and ballistics. Um, kind of put this all together. Um, there's some rumors that uh, there's a couple kids responsible for this, um, and that's just not true. Um, what I told you today are the absolute facts that, that we uh, ended up coming up with from the investigation. Um, so if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer anything.